Understanding Warm-Up Act, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an interesting English phrase to explore, Warm-Up Act. This phrase is common in entertainment but also used in other contexts. Let's dive into what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in your everyday English conversations. The term, warm-up act, refers to a performance that takes place before the main event. Usually, this is seen in concerts, comedy shows, or live performances. The purpose of a warm-up act is to prepare the audience for the main event, ensuring they are excited, engaged, and ready for the main performer. The phrase, warm-up act, comes from the idea of warming up the audience. Just like athletes warm up their muscles before a big game, a warm-up act warms up the audience's emotions and energy levels. This term has been around for many years and is a staple in the entertainment industry. To understand how to use warm-up act in everyday English, here are a few examples. 1. The comedian was a fantastic warm-up act. He really got the crowd laughing before the main show. 2. Sometimes, the warm-up act can be just as entertaining as the headliner. 3. I didn't know much about the warm-up act, but they were surprisingly good and set a great tone for the evening. While primarily used in entertainment, warm-up act can also be used metaphorically in other situations. For example, in a business meeting, someone might give a brief, less important presentation as a warm-up before the main speaker. At a sports event, preliminary matches or performances can serve as a warm-up act for the main event. I hope this explanation of the phrase, warm-up act, has been helpful and interesting. Understanding these kinds of phrases can really add color to your English conversations and help you better appreciate English-speaking culture, especially in entertainment. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more English language learning content. See you next time!